In this section, we're going to focus on addition and subtraction. Now, I know that you probably know, and we're going to come back to doing a whole lot of this, how to calculate something like 6,728 plus 3,748 by putting them on underneath each other and slowly adding it up. But what we want to do in this section before we start going to all that stuff is really just seeing if we can't think and see clever, quick ways to do the addition or subtraction in our heads. So obviously most of this is really about you thinking and you're going to get a whole lot of different problems and you've got to try and think, is there a way I can do this addition and subtraction quickly? But I'm going to give you a few examples first, just so that you see what I mean by trying to reason through, come up with strategies for getting the answer quickly without having to do the boring calculation. So let's start off by throwing one at you. If you already know that 6,728 plus 3,743, someone's already worked that out and told you it's 10,471, what's a quick way of getting 3,728 plus 3,748. Pause the video now and write down the answer to this. Okay, so let's go over that. Did you see that really the only difference between these two things is here? That in this one you've got a 3 and in this one you've got an 8. So really you can see that what you've done is you've added on 5 more. So what's your answer going to be? It's just going to be five more. So your answer is 10,476. See what I mean about finding a quick way rather than going through the whole calculation. So this is that, that was really our first strategy, using a known or easy fact. So in the previous one you saw we were given a fact, a known fact, and we could get the next sum out just by using it. More often than not, of course, you're going to have to come up with a fact yourself. So say you were asked to do 99 plus 98. Of course you can go and do 99, 98, and you can go 9 and 8, 17, and carry 1, etc. Go through the whole thing. But you can also get the answer very quickly by thinking. You know a nice easy fact, you know 100 plus 100 gives you 200. And you can use that to get what 99 plus 98 is. Because this is just 1 less than 100, and this is just 2 less than 100. And so in total, your answer is going to be 3 less than 200, so it's going to be 197. Another strategy we can use is to rearrange the order in which we do things. So if we're given 9 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7, of course we can just go start from left to right and go adding 9 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7. But with addition, we can rearrange the order in which we do things to make it easier for ourselves. So for example, we can notice 7 and 3 makes a 10, 2 and 8 also makes a 10. So we've got 10, 20, 29 here nice and easy. Similarly, if we had 101 plus 237 plus 99, again, we can just rearrange the order in which we do things because we're dealing with addition. And 101 plus 99, that's easy, it's 200. And 200 plus 237 is 437. All right, the last strategy I'm going to show you is seeing it on the number line. Um, and I do a lot of work on the number line. I find it helps me really. If I can see where the numbers are, it helps me very much to work with them. Now, you can go and do a number line where, you know, you start, and I'm sure you've done it all the way through your primary school, you know, where you start and you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., etc., but basically, most of the time, now that you're in an older grade, you're not going to be dealing with really small numbers. So to actually go, if you're going to do something like I'm going to talk about here, a thousand and four, if you're going to go and draw a thousand and four little lines on the number line, it's going to take you forever. So I just really get a broad sense of where we are. So basically, if I'm dealing with this one, 1,004 minus 998. What I'll start off with is I'll say, look, okay, I know really where I'm dealing with is, you know, somewhere in the number line there's 900, and then after that comes 1,000, and then you carry on going up. 
And then I see, where are these two numbers? Well, 1,004 is just a little bit more than 1,000, and 998 is just the other side, right? Just a bit smaller than 1,000. And that's really all I need on my number line. I'm not being very accurate. I'm just being, I just need to be clear about where they are, right? So 1,000 is just, 1,004 is to the right of 1,000, and 998 is just to the left of 1,000. And that's really all I need to help me, because then I can say, well, look, if I'm wanting to know how far, what's the difference between 1,004 and 998, I can say, well, from 998 to 1,000, that's two steps, and from 1,000 to 1,004, that's four steps. So there are six steps different between 1,004 and 998. And that's a lot easier than doing a whole big calculation like this, which is going to involve some ugly borrowing and everything like that. So seeing it on the number line is another strategy. So what I've done today is just show you a few examples of some strategies I use to help me do addition and subtraction quickly in my head. What I want, what you're going to do as you work on, as you work this whole year and going forward, is you're going to try and develop more strategies yourself or use some strategies that you've seen others use or whatever. So what I want you to constantly be aware of is to think, is there a way I can do this calculation quickly and easily? Can I be clever in the strategies I use so that I don't have to do long, boring calculations? So keep that focus um, and while you do the examples that follow.